Here's the little demo I made for the CLC module within this uh, microchip uh, PIC16F15376 microcontroller. The CLC is a very cool uh, feature, a module that uh, allows you to, um, to configure uh, logic gates in a certain configuration to do jobs uh, independent of the, um, of the main processor of this MCU. That's why it's called the uh, CIP, the Core Independent Peripherals. This means that um, because it's essentially logical gates, it can work much faster than the clock speed of the MCU and it doesn't require uh, memory or other resources while it is running. Um, this board was gifted to me by Microchip. Thank you very much. This is um, uh, an evaluation board that's compatible with the MPLAB Express IDE. That's an online IDE. And it presents itself to the computer as a mobile storage device so you can um, basically drag and drop the hex file that is generated by the compiler right into it. Um, so what we have here is uh, three buttons, three switches, for the uh, blue, green and red uh, colors, and an RGB LED, so that when I click each of these uh, buttons, the corresponding color will light up here. Now, um, currently this is uh, not powered, I'll power it on. But you can see that it doesn't do anything yet. That's because it's in sleep mode. The MCU is sleeping, uh, minimum uh, current consumption. And, but the L CLC is working. The CLC is gathering the signals from the different switches and it will uh, raise an interrupt whenever the three of them together are, are uh, clicked. See, when I press even two, it doesn't do anything. But when I press the three of them together, then it like, oh, sorry turned off because there's not enough power consumption for its uh, taste. When I click the three of them together, it lights up, then I can play with it. But after three seconds, about three seconds of, uh, of no use, of no clicking, it will go back to sleep. And again, only the CLC will work. So it was a very easy way to, to define and to create a uh, wake-up um, uh, method that is uh, more complex than just a single switch. Uh, in the usual way, in microcontrollers, I'd um, connect each one of these to the in interrupt on change of, uh, of the three pins, and then when it wakes up, I'll have to check within the uh, with my software whether all three of them are clicked, or just one, or just two. But with the CLC, it's all done uh, with no uh, software requirements, no um, no special resources or time or, uh, or power. It's a very nice uh, way of uh, doing things. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to to see to find out uh, how much power the CLC is uh, taking while this is sleeping. I, I suspect it's not much, but I would uh, rather see uh, specific numbers. So let's go over to the to the code to see how it actually is defined. So let me show you how I configured the CLC, the configurable logic cell, for my little project. This is the MPLAB X IDE. Within it I opened the MCC, the uh, Microchip Code Configurator, which allows me to uh, configure modules and peripherals in the MCU using a graphical interface. And within, within that I selected the Device Resources, Peripherals, CLC. It has all the cells. When I picked CLC1, it moved to Project Resources, peripherals, CLC1, and then I got this window. Here I can first of all enable the CLC because it can be disabled. I enabled its interrupt because I wanted to wake the MCU from sleep. And for my uh, the way I designed my logic, I need just the rising interrupt, the um, transition from 0 to 1 on this output of the CLC. Now uh, this is the um, graphical representation of the cell itself, and it has um, let's say uh, three major parts. First is the inputs. You have up to four inputs. Um, each one can be from a variety of resources. Uh, the uh, UART TX, timer overflows, uh, PW PWM outputs, system clock, and of course the um, the input pins of the MCU itself. Uh, these go into these uh, fixed OR gates, four OR gates. Each, uh, each input can be directed for to any of the gates and it can be either um, disconnected entirely then the uh, this input is uh, internally connected to ground it can be connected directly by clicking on this box connected directly 
or it can be connected through a NOT gate. In my case, because I'm using a switch that um, connects the pin to ground, it's a negative logic, so I need to uh, uh, invert it before it goes into the OR gate. But of course, I could also do other things and invert the output of the OR gate, make it a NOR gate. But uh, here I connected the first pin to um, first input pin that's um, going through the peripheral pin select. I'll talk about this in a minute. First pin goes into the or, this OR gate, second pin to this one, third to this one, and the fourth one has no inputs, and because it's it has no, it's all ground, I have to uh, invert it, make it a NOR gate, so that I'll get one here. And then, when the three buttons are clicked, three switches, I get one in all these lines, and these, this uh, AND gate, four-way AND gate, gives me the, uh, the desired output here. Now the um, power of the uh, CLC, one of its major uh, 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 benefits is that you, can, you don't have to have an AND gate here, you can choose one of these uh, few uh, lo other logical functions, as, for instance uh, all kinds of flip-flops, which are useful in all kinds of uh, logical circuits, and um, a combination of, uh, of other gates SR latch. You can design all sorts of uh, things uh, that are much more uh, complicated and useful than what I did here. But that's uh, that's your choice. Now um, about the the pin select uh, here below, I have the pin manager grid of the MCC, and here I have the um, the CLC one output. I can output this to some pin if I want to. In my case, I don't. I just need the interrupt, but I, I can direct it to an output. I can read it from software, whatever I want. The inputs are here. The um, CLC in zero, this one, it comes from... Um, these are the options, actually. It can only come from port A or port C, not uh, all the ports of the, uh, of the chip. So for CLC in one, I chose uh, port C, pin two, here. Now... Um, for the uh, second input, I chose uh, port C, pin uh, bit 3. And for the third one, I chose, you see here, it can only take from port B or D. I chose D0. You can you can see here, in the pin manager package, um, the outline of the actual uh, MCU, as it is on the board. And here it is, the, um, here are the three pins that I chose, RC2, 3, and RD0, which are the inputs for my uh, CLC. Uh, all this is actually um, a graphical representation of the uh, registers within the MCU, which are uh, shown and can also be defined here if you into that kind of uh, manual work. And uh, everything, everything I designed and uh, built in the graphical display is here. You can see CLC one select two is uh, zero two, and when you generate. Here I generated the entire thing again. Uh, you get the uh, the code that is generated in the um, CLC1 uh, header and, uh, and C file. It's all in here, the initialization code. You can see here the CLC1 select 2 is uh, 2. That's exactly the same values that we saw before. So if you want to read the datasheet and do it uh, manually, you can always do that. And I'm just, uh, I don't even have to do anything in my program except um, except including the MCC generated files, mcc.h, the header file, and everything is already set up, so all I need is to put the uh, MCU to sleep, and the uh, CLC will wake it up when I press the three switches together.